This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. Elementary school students in Poway returning to campus today for in-person learning for the first time in months. It's part of a hybrid learning system Poway Unified rolled out for parents who wanted to get their students back in the classroom. It's all part time. Students will only be on campus for a maximum of two and a half hours per day. The rest of their schooling will take place at home virtually. Students on campus are getting their temperature taken and being escorted individually into their classrooms. Well, the county opening new testing sites today, starting today after its pledge to make COVID-19 testing easily accessible for K through 12 school personnel. And they say that they have been working with the Office of Education on a solution. The four new COVID-19 testing locations will be dedicated to testing school personnel and the first two open in Chula Vista and San Diego and then Del Mar and El Cajon in the coming days. Students and staff can also be tested at the county's 41 other sites. Well, this morning, the Padres gearing back up, looking to rebound after a tough loss yesterday. Cardinals beat the Padres 7-4 in game one of a three-game series at Petco yesterday. Well, that means the Friars have to win the next two games to avoid elimination. Today, the spotlight is on Zach Davies, the Padres' starting pitcher. He and the Padres squaring off against the cards. Adam Wainwright, a three-time All-Star. No problem for the Padres, Megan. They can handle it. Yep, and they handled the heat yesterday. We hit a record high of 96 degrees in downtown yesterday. I'm forecasting 94 today, which would also be a record. Basically, if you live along the coast, we're mostly going to see 90s, mostly triple digits for our inland neighborhoods. Several record highs within reach, including these six cities, Chula Vista, Escondido, Poway, La Mesa, and Vista, as well as downtown, as I just mentioned. Across the county, 90s and triple digits. We'll see a few 80s for some of the cooler coastal areas and mountain areas, but for the most part, temperatures trending anywhere from 10 to 25 degrees above normal. Hot and dry weather coupled with the record low fuel moisture leading to high fire danger. Temperatures do come down about 10 to 15 degrees by Sunday, but that is still above normal. Sometime next week, it'll start to feel more like fall. Jim? Well, we appreciate it. We look, you know, get into October, it'll start feeling like fall. Sounds good. Megan, thank you. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.